Michelle from Kansas City. I want to show you how to make an opt-in form that actually goes, um, and this is a plugin. It's a free plugin that I have set up right now to go to. Um, I think they appear at the very end of my blog of all my blog posts right there, and you can also put it in the middle of your blog post as well if you wanted to, just by inserting a short code. And let me show you what you do. First of all, I'm going to go to my uh, dashboard and I'm going to show you the actual plugin. So I'm going to go to my plugins. I need to update some plugins. And it is called Optin Forms. Optin Forms by Coda Leon. Go to that. It's free. Just go add it. Okay. And then what you do, guys, is then there is going to be over to the side over here opt-in forms so you're going to click on that and when you click on that what you're going to do is you do need to list your email solution and right now it works with Aweber, iContact, MailChimp, GetResponse, MadMimi and Interspire Email Marketer okay so what you do is you just put the name of your email provider or the autoresponder and then the name of the list, okay? So everybody that opts in will go to this list. So whatever you have set up in regards to um, your email, any automatic autoresponders that go out is going to be whatever is assigned to that list. And then you also choose what page they're going to go to, okay? So that's my thank you page. Let me show you what that looks like real quick, okay? So I'm just going to show you. Let me open another one. All right, and so my thank you page looks like that, okay? So it doesn't give them um, access to my trainings. They still have to go in and check their email, so it, very, it ensures that they will put in a good email. All right, so all you do then is you just save the changes, and then what you do is you go to form, and check this out. You can choose up to five different looks. So right now I'm using this one and I get to choose what it says. So I have the text is red, the background color is white, and you could change any of that. I have grab your free trainings now. So if I add anything to that, la ti da, and I believe when I, there it goes. See that? Well, how cool is that? This is so easy to use. And, you know, I just left everything pretty much by default um, because I liked how it looked, right? And then I added my little subtitle, which is right here. And I do want to get their name as well as their email address. And so I did specify that in there, your name, in your email, and so on and so forth. So you can be very detailed on what you want even the button text to say. So, you know, you can totally customize this, you guys. And then um, you can look at options. So, you know, you can hide the title. I mean, there's so much that you can do that, you know, it opens up in a new window. Yes, I do want to do that. Um, that is the submission. That's the new, um, like when it's redirected, I believe. And anyway, I have it set up to automatically uh, appear on after every post. Okay, except I can exclude certain posts if I wanted to. I don't have it display on pages, but here is the short code right there. So you just copy that, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna go to my blog and I'm gonna show you how I can insert this in the middle of my, so here I'm in my blog post, right? And I have it set up to automatically appear at the very end. Well, I want it to just show, I just wanna show you how I can also put it in the middle, like right here, okay? So I'm going to click Edit Post, and let's say I want to put it right here. I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm just going to copy. This is called a short code, guys, and that's all it is. It's just a short code. Now watch what happens. I'm going to hit Update, and what happens is, is when it saves, as you can see, it will be the short code, right? But watch what happens whenever you view the post. Voila, it pulls that. Now, something else I want to show you is, I didn't show you. You can also choose, sorry, you can also choose different types of opt-in forms. So right now I have this one, but look at this. You can also do this one. You can change the text on that. You can have one that looks like that. You can have one that looks like that. 
or one that looks like that. That's pretty eye-catching too. So, But I think right now I'm just going to be sticking with this for now. I did put a red border around that so it was more eye-catching. And uh, so there you go, guys. I hope you liked that. And if you did, let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Ciao.